Amen. No, I don't think we've ever heard Pastor Kane speak in Mother Church. So I just want her to give us a short word that we can hear from her tonight. Amen. Amen. We still need to walk in the ladies that are working on. So I'll make it easy to just come down to her. Bless the Lord, everyone. Bless the night to everyone. Come on, let's give God praise tonight. Come on, let's glorify the Lord tonight. And we quickly acknowledge, amen, Bishop Williams, Lady Williams, amen, Lady Chrissy Good. It's good to see you, your husband. Hallelujah. When he said, everybody in the house, I'm just here to enjoy the ministry of the men. Honestly, it is our time to sit down and enjoy the men. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Glory to God. Amen. And at this time, it's my pleasure to invite one of the best choir in Jamaica. Amen. And I'm telling you, the last time I see this choir singing, it was men and women. I know it's going to be men's choir, and it looks as big as when I saw men and women together. So you can imagine when the ladies join, what size choir we're talking about. They will be sharing with us tonight. Refuge of the Earth Ministries. Give them a big round of applause tonight. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.
tonight. Amen. 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 And we're so happy to have had the Refuge for the Earth Choir shared with the men's choir sharing us tonight. And we are sure that we will hear of them even more. Bless the Lord. It's a choir that goes places. Amen. So if you're going places, you will see them. Bless the Lord. Amen. And I'm sure they are doing well. I want to just pick up the choir mistress in our pastor. Sing all in their songs. They want DJ, they want DJ. Right. Anything that you think that they can't do, they can do it because they have all the voices to carry the different genres of songs. And so, the men of this community, we want you to come in, man, and do things like these. Come and minister in song. Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes you do something and think that this is the way of life, but God is calling you to a new level, calling you to a new responsibility, calling you to a new opportunity where He can use you to draw others to Him. Praise God. Bless the Lord. So at this time, it's my pleasure to invite our speaker for tonight, Bishop Kane. Yes, one of Man of fire, amen. And uh, uh, the crowds look full, so I don't know. I'm going to move through because this man is here one place. He's like a cherubim with fire shot up in a bowl. Hallelujah! And I know that God has deposited a word in His spirit for us tonight. And I trust that we will really just open up. It's not Him, it's about God tonight. Of himself he's nothing, but God has laid his hands on him and his power lives in him. And because of that, he's able to do great things. Praise God. So at this time, I want to invite Bishop Cain to come and to minister God's word to us. Church, please stand as we see the Genesis chapter 27, verses 1 through 2, verse number 10. When you found it, please indicate by saying, I'm in the book. I'm in the book. Wonderful. We'll read alternately. It reads, And it came to pass that when Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son and said unto him, 
my son? And he said unto him, Behold, here I am. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy bow, and go unto the field, and take me some venison. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. And Rebekah spake to Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I have heard that thou art speak unto Esau, that thou art saying, Bring me venison and make me savory meat that I may eat and bless thee before the Lord, before my death. Go now to the flock, and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them sovereign meat for thy father, such as we love it. Verse 10. And Bless the Lord. Let us call for prayer. Father, we thank you tonight, O oh Lord. We are grateful, Father, for your mercies towards us. And here we are, mighty God, together again. Lord Jesus, to give you praise and worship and to glory. We are grateful, mighty God, today. Lord Jesus, mighty God, from, from you, Lord God, all blessings flow. Lord Jesus, Father, we come tonight. We are here to worship. We are here to receive from you. I pray, God, that you'll move by your spirit, by your God. Lord, because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And so I thank you for this liberty, for the liberty temple. Oh, hallelujah. Take hope of Father. I stop to share your word, God. I'm just a vessel. But I pray you'll go through the word in me tonight and speak through me tonight. I pray, God Almighty, Father, that somebody will receive a word from the Lord. I pray for a life-changing word, a transforming word, a word that will encourage, a word that will edify, a word that will strengthen, Father. In the name of Jesus, we come against the works of the enemy right now. We cancel the assignment of heaven, Holy Ghost of God. We shut down the enemy's operation, and we say, God, have the way in this house. In the name of the every interference tonight, every opposition, everything that Satan has signed to oppose, I pray God Almighty that will destroy right now. And just have your way in this house. Lord God, I commit myself with your hand. Use me for your glory, Father. Why we look to you, mighty God. And we can advance in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Love your hands tonight, everybody. And so back power, back power. I'm not here to leave, you know. Come on, somebody clap your hand again and say back power, back power. Back power, back power. Oh, Jesus, God bless you. Turn us, look at your neighbor and say, welcome to man power. Oh, you didn't, you didn't say good night. Come on, now we didn't know. Say good night. Neighbor, welcome to man power. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. I learned that this is a family month. Bless the Lord. Am I right? Yes. Bless the Lord. So the church is celebrating Amen. Family month. Amen. And so we are grateful for the spiritual family and also the biological family. Put you together tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Bless the Lord. Let me take time out tonight to greet the Holy Spirit, who is the head of our life, and the shepherd of this house, Bishop William 
and it's not the mind. Pastor William, put your together for those wonderful. And we move on. We have many calls to meet all the other officers that work alongside and the membership. I agree to this tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. And I saw a couple of my colleagues tonight, bless the Lord, Reverend Willis, bless the name of the Lord, and, Reverend, and Bishop, Bishop Davis, God bless you, sir, good to see you, and Pastor Davis, bless you, God bless you all, good to see you, and all the men of God, God bless you, and God, God. men of God, don't give God bless you, and the visiting friend, all the churches, I greet you tonight, and of course, our community friends, I know some are on the outside listening. Put your hand together for coming to join. Bless the name of the Lord. You know, I sat there and when I sat and I heard manpower. And I said, you know, I don't want the ladies to feel left out now. And then I saw what came to me as I sat there. Man's manpower and ladies' flavor. Man's power, a man power, and lady, a woman's flavor. Amen, somebody. How oh, that song? Got yes. that work? <laughs> somebody bless the name of the Lord. Woman flavor. Amen, somebody. Give the Lord a praise. I have a top team tonight. I want to submit to you the theme I have tonight. I'm coming from behind. I'm coming from behind is my theme tonight. I'm coming from behind. Look at somebody and say, I'm coming from behind. Tell somebody as a neighbor, I'm coming from behind. Somebody give the Lord a prayer. Uh, that was all one thing. Come on, give God a big praise. Come on, give God a big praise and that's all. Uh, Give him a better praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm coming from behind. Now, I want to draw your attention tonight to Jacob. And we all know that Jacob was one of those men of God that had to Fight. He had to fight, had to wrestle to come out of certain situation. And based on birth and based on the word of God, Jacob had found himself behind. Now, the Bible tells us that. Isaac was only 40 years old when he got married to Rebecca. And for 20 years, they could not have a child. And which we know that several women in the scripture, Sarah, Rachel, and other women were barren. And it had to, it took prior for these women womb to open. And so they had married for about 20 years, and they were no seed. But God had promised that he would make a great nation out of Abraham. And God gave Abraham a seed. And the seed that God gave Abraham was Isaac, I would call him the blessing. Amen. But when Isaac got married, just as his mother, his wife could not give birth. But God had promised a nation. Isaac was getting old. It was not only like Abraham's father. But he was getting old. It was far from the marriage. It's far from old. So he was getting old. And so Isaac, there must have been trying to, to have a child and, and, and to no avail. And so Isaac began to pray about the situation. The Bible said that he entreat the Lord, or entreat the Lord rather, for and behalf of his wife. 
And the Lord was entreated. The Lord heard Amen. the prayer of his servant Isaac. And the Lord opened the womb of Rebecca. Now that's good news. That's a good thing. But the, 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 there comes a second problem. The first problem is that she could not get pregnant. And then the, the Lord fixed that problem. But there was another problem. Because the Bible said that Rebecca was not pregnant, but she felt in her womb something strange. Though she never pregnant before. But she became concerned about what was happening in her womb. Because what was happening in her womb was not the baby kicking. Come on, somebody. For those baby mothers who gave birth, you know what I'm saying. I have a wife, she should tell me a little. It's a good night. It was not a case that she felt the baby kicking or moving. That was a different feeling from what Rebecca felt. What she felt was not normal. What she felt, she realized that something was wrong. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. And instead of heading to the doctor, the Bible says that Rebecca saw the Lord. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. And so it was not in her husband this time because her husband saw the Lord for her to get pregnant. Are you with me Let's look at your neighbors and neighbor. There's something you got to see God for. Well, why some people can help you? Are you with me somebody? But there are times you need to seek God for yourself sometimes. She saw the Lord because she realized that she, something were happening in her home that was not normal. And the Bible said, when she saw the Lord, the Lord answered her. The Lord told Rebecca that what is happening in you, what you are carrying, you are carrying two nations. Come on, sister. You are carrying two set of people that shall be separated from the womb. Come on, sister. You are carrying two set of people that one set of people, one people shall be stronger than the other and the younger or the older brother shall come on the know the word shall serve come on talk to the sister and so understand that from birth God called Rebecca the place in other words in farm Rebecca Jacob's place what are you with me that Jacob would be stronger come on somebody that, that Jacob would have Esau serve him. Yes. But unfortunately when, the, when she gave birth, Jacob was not the first that came out. Where was Jacob? Yes. Oh, you're not sleeping. I'll go with me. Tell your neighbor behind. Yes. Jacob was behind. Yes. But God told the mother that Jacob will be Come on, somebody. The stronger Jacob will be the master. Come on. But Jacob was. Now understand based on birth. In those days that the eldest son had the portion. Come on here. Was rightly his by law. Come on, somebody. And he had the right to certain blessing. Come on, somebody. So when you look at Jacob's life, Jacob had to be keep doing catch up, so to speak. Are you with me here? Because the position of birth would not allow Jacob by law, come on somebody, to be the one that should be the head of the family, the one that should be in certain position, come on here. He was always behind his brother based on birth. But you got to understand, church of God, that Jacob knew, come on somebody, that though physically, come on church of God, he was behind. But spiritually, Jacob said, I got to find my place. Come 
Lord, I talk to this of the Lord. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, you got to find your place. Hallelujah, Jesus, because you cannot be successful, come on here, and you're not able to accomplish much if you are not in your rightful place. Are you with me, somebody? Because God did not call you to operate from behind. Come on, talk to me here. The anointing that is on your life is not to operate from behind. And let me tell you what the name Jacob means, which many of you, amen, should know. The, the name Jacob means, amen, supplanter. Come on, somebody. One that sees. Come on, talk to me, somebody. But, but what I, I, I what, what really, amen, catch me is the second meaning of Jacob's name. The, the, the second meaning is that one that follow, or uh, one that follow behind. Come on, somebody. That was Jacob, the God of the meaning of Jacob's name. He was a follower of base and name. Talk to me, somebody. Are you with me? He was a follower of base and birth. Are you with me, somebody? He was a follower, one that amen follow behind. But understand, church, amen, that God has a way to reposition you. Come on, talk to me. When Jacob's family. Amen. We could say Jacob's family was not the best family. Come on, somebody. The whole kind of things happened in Jacob's family. And when we look at Jacob's, amen, Jacob's uh, grandfather Abraham, we realize in Genesis chapter 12, amen, that the first thing we notice with Abraham after he had left, uh, amen, his homeland and went to Egypt, is that Abraham told his wife, when you get to Egypt, uh, amen, if anybody asks you, come on here, who you are, if you are, who you are to Abraham, tell them. Come on, somebody. Tell them you are my sister. Come on here. And so we got to understand because there's something that ran down through the lineage of the end of the family. Are you following me here? The Bible tell me after Isaac also, amen, in Genesis 26, Isaac told the same lie. He told Abimelech, come on, somebody. Amen. That Rebecca on top of it, somebody. Are you with me here? I'm Rachel, rather. Amen. Rebecca, right here. Rebecca is not my wife, but she is my sister. And when we not to look at the family, we realize there was a spirit of deception in the family. So Jacob could not even help it. Come on, talk to me here. Because coming from grandfather, it coming from his father, and he could not even help it. He was a trickster, he was a deceiver. Come on, talk to me here. Amen. But he guess what? He couldn't help it. Because something though the family of Abraham were chosen by God. Because from the family of Abraham became the nation of Israel. And from the nation of Israel became the Messiah. So understand church of God. Amen. That Jacob, according to the scripture, Jacob was a man. Amen. That loved the house. Jacob was a man that loved the mountain. And loved come on cleaning. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. The Bible says he was a smooth man. His hands were soft. Come on, they were not rough like Esau. Because Esau on the other hand, Esau was a hunter. But in the church of God, Esau was a man that loved to feel and he loved to hunt. Amen. To understand the church according to the word. The Bible says one day, Amen. Jacob was at home. And Jacob would come. Look at your neighbor as a neighbor, man. Come on, Lord Jesus. Look at the neighbor as a proper man. Come, come, come. I, I, I might power them, I might power. I'm getting here, I'm getting here. Look at your neighbor as a first man for job. Why don't you worry all that? I don't know if you said it That's how we brought to you here to the river. Come on, look at your neighbor as a neighbor. Man for job, cook. Come on, talk to me here. Jacob was at home. He was not just cleaning, but he was cooking. Esau was coming from the field. The Bible says Esau was hungry. Come on, talk to me. And when he came home, he smelled. Come on, Jacob cooking some stew. Come on, sugar. And the Bible says, 
that Esau asked Jacob for some uh, of Jacob's food. Amen. Uh, I guess Jacob was not so kind. I'm just saying. But Jacob said, no. And what condition? And you got something. Oh God, I'm, I'm coming to you. I'm coming. Look at the neighbor, the neighbor. I'm not gonna stay behind. Come on, talk to me. I'm not, I'm not gonna say nothing. I might from, I might come from a dysfunctional family, but that doesn't change my destiny. That doesn't change who God called me to be and what I'm born for. Look at the neighbor, the neighbor. It doesn't matter where you're born. Who are your daddy? Who are your father? Man? Uh, who are your mother? Talk to me, somebody. It's a different thing when you are in Christ. Come on, talk to the church. But Second Corinthians 5 and verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Are you not preaching for you? All things are passed away. Please come on, church. We got by birth Isaac, by birth Israel. He had certain rights by birth, certain things were his by law. Come on, talk to me. But look at your neighbors and neighbor. Law. Come on, somebody. The Bible said law was given by Moses, but grace and truth. Grace and truth come to Jesus Christ. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. What you got is not by law. Come on, talk to me. Are you not saying nothing? But when Christ came, certain things abolished, certain things done away with. And so the Bible says that Esau asked Jacob, May I have? I did love your stew. And Jacob said, No problem, but on one condition. If you're willing to send me your birthright, then I'll give you some of my stew. He shall look at the birthright and said, Man, hungry. What is a birthright? Come on, talk to me here. But Esau didn't realize that the birthright was not from man. It was something God instituted. So you cannot look at what God has instituted and give to you. You can't look at it as if it's nothing and despise it. The man despise his birthright. Right there, the ship be gone. Come on, talk to me here. Because the Bible tells me that God told Rebecca that the two people will not live together. They shall live apart. They shall be separated. Come on, somebody. Because based on the ministry, based on the fact that God even had a plan for Jacob's life. Talk to me, son of God. The Bible tells me that Esau ate and went and despised his birthright. The Bible said that the father, Isaac, was very old. He was 137. And the Bible says that Isaac felt like the time was coming for him to die. And Isaac knew it was the custom to pronounce the blessing and the first of Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, God will not care, but not check when you're born. If your first loss or second born, it has nothing. Or you're not saying that. Tell your neighbor, it doesn't matter where you're born. Come on, talk to me here. Come on, let's tell God. It doesn't matter if you're born lost. God will still use you. If you're born not in the middle. Oh, you're not saying nothing. God will still use you. Somebody not to me here. The Bible says that Isaac, amen, felt in himself. Because when you're old, there's something in 
you. I never heard before. I'm gonna say, come on, somebody. There's something in you that will tell you that it's time that you're going. It's time to go. So he felt in himself that he's about to die. He didn't want to die. And not come on here. And not release the blessing. But guess what? In Jacob's house, let me ask Jacob's house, but in Isaac's house, come on, fear and tease him. What's in Isaac's house? Look at your neighbor's neighbor. Check your house. Check the family. And make sure self. But they're not saying nothing. Come on, because guess what the Bible says? Amen. The eyes of love. The big son Esau. Talk to me. But remember. Oh Jesus. Rebecca love. Come on, come on. Jacob. And so guess what? Isaac was looking out for the child that he loved. And Rebecca was looking out. So there was a division in the house of Isaac. Come church of God. Oh, you're not done with me. You're not a neighbor. And said, neighbor, a city that divided our house. Divided. I'm not preaching. I got 10 minutes. 
is and invite my neighbor and say neighbor even if they never invite you to the sacrifice come to somebody come on the big brother there and God now anoint them Holy Ghost come to God I shall not God eliminate the dear God come on God just is on them God is them now
three more minutes.
about no dumpling with our hands. And the neighbor said, no dumpling with us. With our hands. And no spoon dumpling. From love them flower. Flower give man power. Jesus, you don't know the word. But Esau had hated 
sons of Esau. Guess what? Isaac loved somebody we got here. Oh, Jesus. Come on, somebody. And the Bible said in my closing that the Isaac sent Esau. Esau went. And the man was hunting the daddy because the blessing. He won't get the blessing. But guess what? Rebecca heard and went to call him son. Her son as a call. I heard your daddy say, He might go bless. Come on, man. Your bigger brother, your twin brother. Come on, talk to me. Amen. But, come on, man. Go down and they go to him. Lord Jesus. Get to what the kid was fit. I'm praying quickly. Come on, here's your feet. You know your feet are up. Oh, Jesus. Because the witness is something. It is coming for years. No matter who of the thing, we are come back go down there. Come on, hurry up. Let me look about it. Just the way it. I know my husband loves it. Look at your neighbor. I must know your love, husband love. That is my woman, not man. Such a man. Look at, look at your neighbor. Come on, sir. All of the wife, they look at the husband. Look at somebody. I say, I must know where your husband love. Come on, man. Was for each other. She said, I will fix it. I will prepare it just the way I know he loves it. Come on, somebody. The body was said that when Jacob heard that, Jacob said, Mommy, I got a concern. Because Esau is not smooth. Esau is a theory man. But I am smooth. Come on, somebody. But mommy said, Don't worry about it. Come on, a long time in this city, but don't worry about it. Come on. Come on, somebody. I got the remedy. I got a plan. Come on, somebody. The Bible said that the mother, amen, wrapped Jacob neck in the goat skin. Come on, somebody. Look at your name and say, This skin is like yours. Some Satan wrapped him or something. Wrap him up. Wrap, put up goat skin, put goat skin on the hand. Come on, somebody. And send him in with the food. And guess what? Cheer up. Because him and the spirit that he knows what he said. He knows what to say. When he went in before his father, he said, Daddy, the food ready now. He said, Jacob, Isaac said, Who is it that you came back so quick? My son. Yeah, yeah, what Jacob said? The Lord. Tell him you're going to be to the Lord in life. The Lord has provided. Jesus. The Lord has provided. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible said that before Esau and Esau come near. Let me feel. Come on, let me examine. Oh, Jesus. The Bible said that when he came near, that Esau felt. He said, kiss me. And when he kissed his father, Felt that the joy, yeah, that the joy. Amen. When he, when, when, when he felt, he felt the, the ear. Yeah. And, and guess what? Guess what? Only one thing Jacob had done that was his. I am skin. But he have a good skin. And he shall close. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. So when he got near to his father, his father smelled. So that's not the, 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 the scent, the feel, the, and a perfume like now. When I walk on a perfume, and call you, amen. Yeah. Them, them, them perfume, they are feel, calm, and that's something. When he smelled the scent coming from his heart clothes, that was the time he was convinced. But he said, you feel like he saw, and you smell, but you don't sound like he saw. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at the name of the Lord. He knew that the song was not his and the voice was not his or everything else. Oh, it's not that. Hallelujah. It was not his. He said, Your song like Jacob. Come on, somebody. Church, as I close, I have no more foundation next year. But as I close, church, the Bible says, that the Father, the God of Israel, 
So may the Lord bless you with the jewel from heaven. With the fatness of your heart. May, may you become master of your brothers, our brethren. May your mother's sons bow down with the Lord. Lord Jesus. May the Lord bless you with the jewel from heaven. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands and give him a praise. Start with me there. Hallelujah. Come in. From behind. Some of us here today, we were not the first choice. We were not our parents' favorite. We were not the family chosen one. We were not the one that they were expect to come out to be something. We were not. We were not in the conversation. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, you're not saying nothing. Coming. Where some of us are coming from? Where you are today? You didn't know you would be here. Nobody expected you to be the blessed one that carries the blessing. Nobody expected you to be the one to take care of the family. Nobody expected you to be the one. Come on, somebody. To call people have to call the family member to call. When they have a matter, come on, they have to call. You may not the biggest one. And maybe you're not even the brightest one. But anything happened, and you're not but the guy. Come on. Hallelujah. When problem to be solved, are you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can relate to what I'm saying. I don't even care. Oh, Hallelujah! You, when you were growing up, you never loved life. You never ever make it. Oh, no, 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 no. Hallelujah, Jesus! You always get the one left when everybody else goes to school. But now you can't go because. Come and talk to me. The Bible says that when Isaac came out, he left Jacob behind, but Jacob rolled up on the hill and said, Guess what? You now left me. God Almighty, you will not leave me behind. Come on, talk to me. Guess what, man of God, as I close? For some of us, we have to fight our way. Come on, somebody. We have to fight the odds. We have to fight, oh Lord. But Jacob to receive a blessing. He must wrestle with the angel. But Jacob said, Lord, I'm not going to let you go. The angel said, Lord, I'm not going to let you go. You are my destination. I'm not going to let you go. You want to church to help me in the house? Somebody said, I'll let you go. I'll wait some time. But I'll not let you go. Come, church of God. Come on, let's go. We don't want to go. I'll let you go. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. She come back to fight. Because by birth, she never had a chance. But she come back to fight in spirit. He had a determination. He had a drive. He had a zeal. He knew what he wanted. And whatever it took for him to get it. If he had to lie, come on, he had to the right. In life, he get it. If he not be bad, he bought it. Come on, man. And if he not be deceived, he very far down. He willing. He 
was willing and every not the fight with angel to get a divine blessing from not somebody she comes and now I let you go the angel said let me go God dear pray she comes to your mother and now I let you go under one condition the only way I let you go Don't let go until you pass the worst. Don't let go until you become the head. Don't let go until God bring you from behind. That devil is a liar. Forward! Forward! Somebody say forward. Hallelujah. Bow your heads right now. 